turn from Nagby and a shot! Oh, yes! You know, I think he came out of the womb <laughs> with the ability to uh, control the ball like he does. He has athleticism as well, extremely explosive, great balance. The other thing with him is he's become much more assertive. We've tried to make him more um, aggressive and impactful all the time, demanding the ball, wanting the ball. You know, I think you've seen that this year. His production has been the best of his career. I feel like every year I try and be more dangerous. And uh, I feel like my possession game is, uh, is good. But uh, just being more dangerous and take more chances, take more risks. Just trying to find a good balance uh, between possession and uh, taking guys on more and getting more shots, being more dangerous, getting in the box, getting at the end of things. I think now is the best. Now is the best. Not really is the best, but it will be better. I played with Hulk in Porto, with uh, Falcao, Varela, and uh, he has everything too. Darlington has everything. It's it's honestly tip of the iceberg. I think he, he, he really does have the ability to be one of the most special players. Um, that this country's seen. And, and I think, honestly, if you threw him on any team in the world in a training, he'd fit in. But you haven't seen the, the, the finished product yet with him. Hey, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome to a very special Google Plus Hangout here on MLSsoccer.com. My name is Josh Weisenhunt, and as you could probably tell from the opening segment, we are joined today by a very special guest, the 2013 winner of the 24 Under 24 Countdown on MLSsoccer.com, Darlington Nagby of the Portland Timbers. Darlington, thank you so much for joining us today, man, and of course, congratulations on topping 24 Under 24 and having a great 2013 so far. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me also. No, man, it's, the pleasure is all ours, but here is how today is going to work for everyone tuning in out there. Darlington has been generous enough with his time to join us today. We're going to talk with him a little bit, and we're also excited because our friends at Google Plus and at Pixel Core are bringing us this awesome new technology where we're going to be joined by a few fans in a little bit here. They're going to hang out, and they're also going to take part in a digital autograph signing with Darlington, which is what we're really looking forward to. Darlington, have you ever done anything like this before, man? No, this is my first time, so I'm looking forward to it and see how it works out and everything. All right, it's uh, it should be pretty cool. I th I think it's gonna, I think it's going to work out. But before we before we get to them, they're waiting. They're they're going to join us in a little bit. Obviously, Darlington, you've been in the league for three years. This was your third appearance on 24 under 24 in 2011. You cracked the top 10. You were number 10 in 2012, number 15, and in 2013 you jump all the way up to the top on the field. Man, anything. Anything feel different about what's going on this season compared to the last two? Yeah, overall I feel like I'm just more comfortable in the field and the, the chemistry with the guys now, it's, uh, it's better than, been, than it's been the past two years, our third year being together. So overall I just feel more comfortable and uh, Coach Ford has come in and done a great job bringing in uh, some real good players. So overall, just uh, more comfortable with everything. Yeah, for sure. That's good. And we, we actually asked a bunch of guys around the league for their top 24 under 24 pick. Your boy Andrew Jean-Baptiste went to bat for you. We also got mentions from Darren Maddox, Amobi Okugo, Russell Tybert, DeAndre Yedlin, Jack McInerney, and on down the line. They all said you. So I guess I guess the voters were doing something right. And uh, I guess along along those same lines, I mean, if you could pick it out, who do you think, who is your top 24 under 24 in MLS right now? You can't say yourself. <laughs> of course not myself, but uh, my top 24 and 24, I don't know if I have a top one, but uh, a lot of my African teammates that I went to college with, so uh, I think I said before, Perry Kitchen, Kofi Sarkozy, Teal Bumber, obviously, but he's been hurt this season, but he's coming back, uh, Darren Maddox, which he was number one last year, I think, so. He was, he, look guys. at you, you're, of course you're going you're gonna to rep the Akron <laughs> boys, I mean, why? I didn't even have to ask that question, it's uh -huh. actually, it's it's funny that you mentioned your boy Teal Bunbury, he uh -huh. wanted so badly to join us today, sadly he had like a mm -hmm. dentist appointment come up or something like that, but he actually, he, he passed to me a question, he wanted to know uh, when the rap group 811 is going to get back together, <laughs> what, what's the uh -huh. deal with that? The 811, that was our dorm room in, uh, in Akron, in Spen Hall, uh, room 811, and we were just rapping there with Zakoani and just uh, me and Tilo wow. both all, Yeah, but Zakoani is pretty good, so uh, we just like to joke around about that. See, see that you think Steve had the best rap game out of the three of you guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was good. He has a, he has a mixtape out now and things like that, so he loves it. You know, me and Tilo were just trying to, trying to be goofy with it, and uh, <laughs> we were awful. 
<laughs> just trying to keep up. Now, obviously, Darlington, you guys are coming off a 1-0 win at home on mm -hmm. Friday night against Colorado. The atmosphere looked incredible on TV. How'd that game go for you guys? It went well. You know, uh, I feel like we started off well, and uh, once we got the goal, I feel like we slowed down a little bit maybe, but overall it was, uh, it was good. I feel like we defended well, and uh, we won 1-0, which is good for us, knowing that we can win games 1-0 and get the shutout. So overall we're happy, and the uh, coach was happy about it, that we fought hard, and uh, we're just looking forward to the next game. Yeah, it was a good performance, and actually, that's it's so funny because like as a team, it's just been a fascinating season to watch you guys. Mm. I mean, you guys had two tough matches to start, then you ripped off this like ridiculous unbeaten streak, and then I feel yeah. like a month ago you guys had a tough, tough ten day stretch, and and everyone you know was was leaving you guys for dead, and now you're back on track. So, what do you make of the season so far, and and how are you guys feeling shaping shaping up down the stretch? Uh, I feel like everyone's feeling good. Uh, as you said in the beginning of the season, we started off really well, and. Uh, when that unbeaten streak. So I feel like we built a lot of confidence from that, and uh, even though things weren't going as well as we wanted it to about a month ago, all the guys were still confident, coach was still confident. So uh, we're just looking forward to it and hopefully uh, making the playoffs. Yeah, that, that would be good. Of course, we are mm -hmm. coming down the stretch. Only a couple games left for everybody. It's going to be a, a really fun end to the season. All right, well, that's, that's enough for me. Darlington, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and bring in our first participant into the Hangout today. Uh, let's go out to Staunton, Massachusetts. We have Cameron Ramos out there. Cameron, thank you so much for coming on today, man. How are things going out there? Going pretty well. So what's the deal? It looks like you're wearing a, a Revs jersey. Re no, no Timbers fans in here to start it off. What's going on, what's going on there? Got to represent the Revs all day, every day. Got to rep the Revs. All right, Cameron, well, the floor is yours. What is your question for Darlington? Darlington, congrats on winning 24 uh, under 24. I wanted to know... Uh, what is it like? How do you feel about winning it, and what does it mean to you to be in that class? Uh, it feels good, you know. As Josh, uh, Josh pointed out, uh, a lot of the guys are under in the running for under 24 and 24 uh, voted me as a number one player. So uh, it feels good, and uh, it's always something that uh, to be proud of when the people that you're playing against uh, all the time think you're a good player. So overall, I'm happy about it, and uh, hopefully, I'm just gonna keep doing well. The team does well. Yeah, for sure. Of course, the top five in this year's 24 under 24. Number five was Diego Fagundes of your revolution. Cameron, that's your boy right there. He tore it up this weekend a little bit. Jack Mack, Yedlin, Luis Gill, and then, of course, Darlington, who joins us today, that number one spot. All right, Darlington, let's let's give this thing a shot, man. All right, here we you go. Ready, you ready to sign? So Darlington's going to sign this photo of himself just, just dangling some guys on the San Jose Earthquakes, and he's going to write it out to Cameron right now. <laughs> look at that. That's beautiful. Perfect, man. All right, Cameron, how's that look to you? That looks awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today, Cameron. We will uh, we'll catch you down the line, and best, best of luck to the Revs the rest of the season, all right? Thanks for having me. All right, you, next next up. All right, now now we're getting local. We got, we got Dane Kosnick joining us out there. Dane, you're in Oregon, and, uh, and you can go ahead, fire it up. What's your first question? Hey, Darlington. Uh, we don't very often see you on uh, timber, or Talk Timbers or Timbers in 30, but you're all over advertising for the team and for Adidas. Uh, are you a little bit shy of the microphone? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say I'm a shy guy, uh, but it's different uh, during the photo shoots and stuff like that. You're not, it's not live, so uh, you're just more natural, more fun, whereas uh, interviews and things like that, Talk Timbers and things, uh, having conversations. So you know, I'm a shy guy, but uh, I don't mind doing any of that stuff. Uh, one other question. I imagine that you guys, while you're training, uh, you probably have a fairly rigorous diet. Uh, do you ever get to go out and enjoy the PDX beers? Uh, I don't drink, so uh, I've never... Last time I drank was at my wedding, which is oh. last December, so I don't really drink, uh, so I can't answer that question. <laughs> hey, hey, Dane, how about this? I will when I'm out there. Whenever, whenever, whenever that will be. So I'll, I'll pick up the slack. And actually, that's a funny. That's funny that you mentioned it. The mm -hmm. as far as the media stuff goes and the advertising, Darlington. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we got to give a shout out to our friends out there at Adidas, the presenting sponsor for today's Google Plus Hangout. Um, mm -hmm. You're an Adidas guy, and you recently got the chance to. Uh, well, at least we saw to mm -hmm. uh, to showcase the the capsule collection that's coming out on October 5th, which was just. It looked. I mean, in my opinion, it was just awesome stuff. I mean, yeah. how was that experience, and what are your thoughts on the new gear? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Went over to St. John's Bridge, and uh, we were there perfect timing also because it was right before the sunset. So uh, we got some cool pics, and all the gear was real nice, real slick. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, everyone should go out there and try and check them out. 
for sure. So now we saw you in like a t-shirt, a hoodie, another sweatshirt, mm -hmm. and like this awesome just like varsity jacket. Yeah. Which which item was your favorite? I'm assuming. I'm hoping they let you keep this stuff. Yeah, yeah, they did. They were nice about it. They let me keep the stuff, and uh, I have to go with the varsity jacket. I thought that was pretty cool so that they let me keep that, and uh, I liked it. Yeah, that was legit. All right, mm -hmm. well, if you haven't seen it yet, Timbers fans, head to MLSsoccer.com. We got a full gallery up of all the new stuff coming out on October 5th from Adidas. You'll want to check it out because it definitely, like Darlington says, is pretty sweet. All right, autograph time. We're on a roll for Dane. Let's go. Let's see it. Jonathan, did you get good grades in school for penmanship when you were growing up and stuff? Nah, but I always had real good cursive. <laughs> <laughs> cursive, that's nice. All right, Dane, well, there you go, man. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. All right, we'll talk to you soon, See. Dane. We'll keep it rolling here. Staying, actually, yeah, we're staying in Oregon right now. We got Paul Adkins out there in Eugene. Paul, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. It's good to be here. You look. You're looking great. I know. I know that. What's your question for Darlington? Darlington. Uh, first question would be. I know you're an awesome player. I've seen you and watched mm -hmm. you uh, week after week, and I guess I know that you're a big family man too. Uh, I'm wondering if you see yourself going to Europe in the future. Uh, I've definitely uh, I've thought about it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, so far, I've been uh, I've been happy in Portland. I like it a lot. My wife likes it. So uh, so far, we've been happy here, but. Uh, Going to Europe would definitely be nice. Uh, I feel like any player would like to go over to Europe and try and play there, so in the top level. But uh, so far, uh, I'm happy here in Portland. Then uh, hopefully, I can be here much longer. Well, I, I guess I'm hoping you stay in Portland too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So I guess I have another question for you. I'm uh -huh. a I'm a dad of three young players that are in the Timbers Alliance down here in Eugene mm -hmm. uh, program, and I guess I'm wondering if you have advice for me as a dad uh, with young players. I'd say uh, just let them have fun. That's the main thing. And uh, my mom and my dad always let let us have fun. They didn't force us to play or anything like that. They told us if we wanted to, we could. And uh, if we didn't want to, we didn't have to. So. So he was he was just pretty he was pretty relaxed yeah. with you as far as your development things like that. He kind of just let you let you choose your own path, do your own thing. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't. Uh, he never forced it on me or my brother or anything. So uh, I feel like that's what uh, really made us want to play more. Uh, but as a kid, you always want to be like your dad. Seeing our dad being the pro. To, it's made us want to be like him and seeing the fans and everything like that. So. All right, perfect. So I think Paul had a couple more questions for you. Paul, you want to fire one off? And actually, sure. Paul, Paul was holding out on us. He went, he went to Akron. 91 and 92. Nice. Was how's the soccer team then? Uh, there wasn't much of a soccer team back then, at least as far as I knew. Uh huh. <laughs> I wasn't a player and uh, didn't have any kids that were in it yet. Mm -hmm. So did you like you did you the soccer team at Akron at that point? That was just like. Not even, not even a thing yet, really. Yeah, not for me, at least. Got it, got it, got it. All right, cool. Well, I think we got a, we got a Caleb Porter question that Paul has. So no, I, I guess I'm really tickled that Caleb is here in Portland and uh, helping the Timbers move along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's surprising. Also, uh, I never really figured that I'd be living in Portland. Also, and uh, having Caleb here in Portland and uh, some other Akron guys all the way in Portland is uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty that's crazy. A, but it's, that's it's insane. Uh -huh. no, I guess I'm, I'm hoping some of the other stars come down here too. Yeah, that'd be cool, you know, again, Maddox, Mumbury, all those guys, Fred <laughs> yeah. Kitchen. Just keep yeah, shipping them in one by one. Yeah, yeah. actually, Darlington, that was, that was a follow-up that I wanted to ask you. I mean, when uh -huh. you left Akron, you left after your junior season, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you left after your junior season, I mean, I don't know what your parting words to Caleb were, but mm -hmm. you, you couldn't have had any inclination that you guys are going to be working together just a couple years later, right? No, I had, I had no idea. I remember... Uh, I didn't have no idea where I was going either in the draft. So uh, I remember when the job opened up here, and uh, I joked around with Caleb a little bit, you know, just saying, uh, "Oh, it's gonna be fun when you come out here." Just joking, and uh, really, actually, yeah, and it actually happened because <laughs> he just signed the he just signed a, a contract at Akron to stay there for like ten years or something like that. So I didn't think it was gonna happen. But knowing him uh, and the way he is, he's always determined to be better and uh, be the best at everything he does. So I wasn't too surprised that he he took the job. And then, do you remember your your first conversation with him? Was it just like a text, or was it a phone call when he actually let you know that he was coming? Uh, I found out through the the media also. I didn't know he was getting the job uh, actually until it happened. So I found out at the same time everyone else did. I guess uh, he didn't want to tell me and have me be under pressure and things like that. So yeah. I found out at the same time everyone else found out. Wow, that's that's insane, Paul. You got you got any more questions for Darlington? One more. All right, let's do it. Well, I guess I certainly have high hopes for the Timbers this season mm -hmm. uh, in the playoffs, and I guess I'm wondering if you have any predictions, let's say even as far as who you'll be playing in the playoffs and what the scores might be. 
Wow. Uh, predictions? Wow. Uh, <laughs> not really. Everything in the West has been so tight, so uh, it's hard to tell who's going to be playing who and what team is going to end up where. But uh, definitely, uh, I definitely think we're going to make the playoffs if we keep doing what we're doing and uh, keep playing the way we're playing. Western Conference Final against the Seattle Sounders, seven nothing. Portland Timbers. Darlington Nagy scores. Se- scores se- <laughs> Darlington Nagy scores all seven goals. That that's 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 a good one, right? You like you take yeah. that, wouldn't you, Paul? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sounds good. And actually, that's a, that's a, I want to I want to follow up on that, Darlington. Of course, looking back at this season, is there a favorite moment for you this year so far? You know, a favorite game, a favorite win, a favorite mm-hmm. goal, anything like that? Hmm. I don't know. I like the New York game, our first game of the season. I just that thought was, it was, that, uh, was, that game was like, incredible. Yeah, it was it was a uh, it was a crazy game. We went down two goals and uh, to pull it back, you know, and tie the game three three. Even though it wasn't a win, I feel like uh, it was just a good game and it set it set the tone for the rest of the season and uh, to show what we can do. Yeah, for sure. And Diego Valeri mm-hmm. obviously scored a a, yeah. a a ridiculous goal in that game, and he had a pretty uh-huh. good goal on Friday. Of course, Jonathan, you guys are playing them, you know, sort of going forward together. You guys link mm-hmm. up quite a bit. What's it been like playing with? With a guy like Valeri this season, it's great. You know, I've never, I've never played with anyone uh, as good as Diego Valeri. And uh, to me, in my opinion, he makes uh, makes our team go. He makes our team tick. He connects everything. You know, so uh, it's been fun having him on the team, and hopefully, he's here for a lot longer. Yeah, he certainly is a pleasure to watch. All right, mm-hmm. Paul, you ready for your, uh, you ready for your autograph? Yeah, go Zips. <laughs> go Zips. Let's get that on there. <laughs> perfect. 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 There it is. All right, Paul, man, thanks so much for joining us. Great questions, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon, man, okay? Hey, thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Paul. All right, let's finish it up. Let's go to our last participant, also in Eugene, I believe, Casey Huntington. Casey, you out there, man? Yeah, I'm here, man. How's it going? Oh, it's great to see you. It's great to see your face again. What's your question for Darlington? All right, so uh, Darlington, I know you're busy with the team a lot of the time, but Mm -hmm. do you have any places you like to visit around uh, Portland or uh, throughout Oregon? Uh, Throughout Oregon, uh, we've been through to Multnomah Falls. I feel like that's uh, probably the only main attraction that we went out and seen. Besides that, we like the Pearl District and downtown. And we like the city overall. It's not too big, and it's easy to get around. But uh, we're definitely looking forward. uh, We're going to have to check out Mount, uh, Mount Hood and all the mountains over here, so we're looking forward to doing that sometime. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'd recommend the Central Oregon too. It's got some beautiful places over there. So yeah. actually, I Central think you've been. To... Yeah, over it's mountain, high desert. It's really beautiful. So I still got to make my first trip. So I'm I'm looking <laughs> for some tips too, guys. Yeah, no, more than welcome to come out. We'll be wanting to have you out here. So it's a beautiful state. I, I can't wait, and I can't wait to catch a game either. Casey, any any other questions for Darlington before we get you your autograph? Um. Do you have, uh, Donington, do you have any hopes of maybe playing for the U.S. men's national team at any point? Yeah, definitely. I've been getting asked that a lot lately. But uh, definitely when I'm eligible, eligible and uh, if I'm having a good season and they want me to play, I'd be more than happy to play for the national team. That'd be good. Yeah. That'd be fun. Awesome. Perfect, man. Well, let's get that, let's get that, let's get that autograph fired All up, right. and we'll, uh, we'll get you on your way, Casey. Great questions. There we go. Perfect. All right, Casey, man, thanks Thanks so much for joining us. All right, thank you. You thanks, guys have Casey. a good one. We'll see you, man. All right, that does it for us here on MLSsoccer.com. Of course, thanks to everyone who tuned in, and thank you as well to everyone from Google+, Plus, to Adidas, to Pixel Core, to the fine staff at the Portland Timbers in Darlington. Last but not least, of course, thank you to you as well, man. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Yeah, we'll do it again soon. All right, make sure you tune back in. Of course, we'll be doing Hangouts, of course, through the rest of the season right here on MLSsoccer.com. Everyone have a great week.